please welcome this week's special guest, Andy. <laughs> So, let's start with Kirsty. Uh, what is Andy to you? Um, this is Andy. He played a handbag snatcher in a Crime Watch reconstruction. And we only got nine calls, but every single one of those nine calls said that Andy was actually the bag snatcher. <laughs> uh, Greg, uh, what is Andy to you? Uh, this is Andy. Uh, I beat him in a speed-eating competition where I ate more than a kilo of ribs. All right, David, what's your relationship with Andy? Uh, this is Andy. Uh, last year, he gave me a surfing lesson and he told me that he'd never seen a novice display such natural ability <laughs> amongst the waves. So there we have it. Kirsty's crime watch cult, <laughs> Greg's rib-eating rival, or David's uh, complimentary surf coach. Uh, Lee, where do you want to start? Definitely with David. <laughs> Could you just show us the basic move? Because yeah. I, I, I had yeah. a surfing lesson once, and the first thing you learn is to go from lying to standing, don't you? Could you show us that move? <laughs> 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 the, the lying to standing move. You heard it. I, I can't really remember it. It was only one lesson. Where did you, where did you go for a surf? Uh, near Newquay, in oh. Cornwall. So, I'm not letting it go. Would you demonstrate <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the movement from... from... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the... This should be interesting. Yeah, well, I'm good. So you're lying on the board. I'm, I'm helping you as much as I can. Lying on the board. And watch the movement, ladies and gentlemen. Watch right, as he I'm, gets to the I'm stand. I'm sort of paddling along. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then paddling, you yeah. get up to your knees first. Oh, do you? And then, uh, so I'm not on my knees then now. I'm still a bit nice shaky, one. though. Yeah, yeah. I'm a beginner, basically. But you're a natural. Already I'm showing promise. <laughs> do you? I'm, I'm... See, I haven't fallen in. <laughs> if not. Uh, and then... You're yeah, the only no, person I know that actually, when they were doing it, were dressed like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on your knees. Uh, yeah, and then I stand up on it. Do it. All right. If I, can I use oh, there that? Was, oh, that was the. <laughs> <laughs> what I did that not everyone can do is actually lent on a wave. <laughs> Because you can. That's, you know, if you hit if you hit water at enough speed, it's like concrete. And similarly, for me, it's just oh, there you go. Uh. And then, I thought I'm surfing that way. But then, if you if you want to turn round, you just move the tiller and. Uh, <laughs> Why were you down there, and, and why had you decided? You don't strike me as a, as a man of the sea. It was a stag do. A friend of mine was getting married. I know what stag do's are. In the run up, <laughs> he decided it was a, a weekend in, in Cornwall. Who was the friend? His name was Robbie. <laughs> David, what size was the board? What size is the board? Yeah. That's, oh. him, that's him giving him time to think the reiteration of the, the question. What size? The board oh, what size? What size is the board? The board of the you size. Want to, you want me to tell you the board size? <laughs> yes. Um, normal. <laughs> normal size. Normal. What size is a normal size How board? This? Well, this surfboard was six feet long. <laughs> six feet? That's, six that's, feet. That's, could have been that's less, a very been short dense. surfboard. Uh, Ten that foot was... would have been believable. Six foot is not believable. Six foot, yeah, but he's quite a maverick. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't, uh, I didn't surf. measure it. <laughs> <laughs> One final question. What else did you and the guys get up to on the stack weekend, David? Uh, we had a curry. One. <laughs> Rock um, and roll. Cornish curry. If you go to the seaside, you're not having a curry, you're having fish and chips, don't you? And what sort of stag do goes all the way to a new key and says, well, I really fancy now some naan bread. <laughs> I must say, that's... if that's the part that you think is the chink in my armour, <laughs> that stag do wouldn't have a curry on the, <laughs> the seaside, then I reckon I'm doing all right. <laughs> right, Lee, who's next? Uh, OK, Kirsty. Yes. Just remind me again of your uh, well, thing. This, this is Andy, um, and in a Crime Watch reconstruction, he played a bag snatcher, and we... We only got nine calls on the particular reconstruction and every single one of them actually named Andy as the real bag snatcher. He, he was representing the criminal, yeah? And yeah the bag snatcher. Yeah. The bag snatcher. How, how much money was in the bag? Um, well, that was actually that was the reason, because we wouldn't normally have something like a bag snatching on Crime Watch, because although it's used for the person it's happened to, it's not <laughs> but it, Is this where you're going to pretend it was serious. more serious? She wouldn't let go of the bag, so it ended up as kidnap. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, you shouldn't make light of it, Lee. It's crime. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy would be 
he then um, an actor? Would he? Yeah, Andy was an actor. Well, why did the nine people bother to ring up and say, my friend Andy the actor is playing... No, 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 they were, no, 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 they were people <laughs> who had actually witnessed the crime, who phoned us and said, that is the actual guy. He, was, he looked so like the person who ah, perpetrated ah, the crime. Okay, so, so you're telling me that people rang up the BBC and said, I think I know who did it. It's the person I've just seen doing it in the reconstruction. <laughs> Yeah. What does that, that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Just to be clear, Crime Watch has been going nearly... It'll be 25 years next year. This has never happened before. You don't say. <laughs> I would go as far to say it's never happened at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> was Andy subsequently arrested? Andy wasn't arrested. He wasn't arrested. No. He wasn't arrested. He's an actor. Of course he wasn't arrested. Get him now! Yes, but get what? him quick! <laughs> Right, what about Greg and, and his You think story? Greg did it? <laughs> <laughs> he would have got away. He would. So go on, Greg, remind us of your, um, thing. Uh, this is Andy and I beat him in a speed-eating contest where I ate over a kilo of ribs. Where was this? Um, at a, at a training camp. Andy's a, an athlete. What's his event? The 110 metre hurdles, so it's over 10 He hurdles. runs over 110 metre hurdles. <laughs> Wow, well, does he use a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're wondering what a, a kilo of ribs looks like, um, I'm your man, because look at... Look at these here, you see? Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. So that's well, a kilo that of ribs. smells. Ooh. So that mm. is a kilo mm. of ribs. Mm. How long did it take you to eat, to eat this much ribs? I think, if I remember correctly, about six minutes. Six minutes? Six, six all minutes. That? Yeah. That's but how did you know whether you'd finish them or not? They weren't there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it logically. OK, so let's... So, let's assume there is 60 bits on the racks. Yeah. And you've eaten them all in six minutes, which <laughs> works out as six seconds a thingy bob. One, two, three, four, five... Six. That's doable. I think that is. <laughs> <laughs> right. We need an answer. So, Lee's team is Andy, Kirsty's crime watch culprit, Greg's rib eating rival, or David's complimentary surf coat. Andy does look like an athlete. Yeah. He does. He, he does. definitely. He well, really he, does yeah, but look he, like he also looks a bit like a surfing dude. And dare I say, a minor criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Greg. Okay. Mm. You think it's Greg? I don't think it's Kirsty. I think it's more likely Greg. I have two Gregs, so I will make that three Gregs. Okay, three Gregs. Please. You're saying it's Greg. Andy, please reveal your true identity. So my name is Andy, and Greg did once beat me <laughs> to eating a kilo of ribs. It's not just any Andy. Uh, this is Andy Turner, who is indeed European and Commonwealth hurdling champion. Big thanks to Andy Turner, ladies and gentlemen.